Good and bad news today. Odroid N1 canceled due to RAM supply issues and two coming later this year. So there you go. The con and then pro. So the Odroid N1 was supposed to be the next board after the Odroid XU4, which is a super popular board for those of you that haven't seen it. Check my channel out. It runs Nintendo 64. It lot, runs a lot of emulation. It, it's just a better overall single board computer than the Raspberry Pi as far as performance. The other thing is we're seeing some great retro gaming things coming out, especially with ORA producing a retro Pi image that works for this thing. So the N1 was going to be a welcome upgrade. And unfortunately, it seems because of RAM supply, they would only be able to produce a two gigabyte model and the four gigabyte was not going to be possible and if it was possible it wouldn't last very long so rather than having a really short product life cycle which I agree with them you don't want to be able to produce a board for only two three months you're not going to get the kind of return on your investment that you would get with a board like the Odroid which has been out for almost for over a year and is continually getting sales so from a business standpoint, it was smart that they canceled the N1. Now, the silver lining, the pro to all this is we are going to get an N2 board. They're going to announce details in August, but there's things like PCI Express, USB Type-C, dual 4K UHD encode and decode, so possible Dolby Vision and some great output potential there. They're also going to be upgrading the processor. Now, people who are using the Odroid said the N1 was not actually going to be that much of an upgrade. People have seen similar boards come out, and those boards were going to be similar spec to the Odroid N1, and those boards don't perform much better than the XU4. So to me, it's a welcomed thing. I didn't really, I personally was not looking forward to the N1 board, but this new N2 board it's going to be a game changer. If they can get that under $100, you're going to see some crazy performance bumps and some really nice things, especially with double the RAM, 4 gigs, and the processor boost. Those are going to be some very, very welcomed upgrades. Look forward to the N2. The N1 is not coming back. So if you are in the, in the market for a really powerful uh, single board computer, I can highly recommend the Odroid. Another uh, speculation was that the Rock Pro 64 board is out for $80, which is basically what the N1 board was supposed to be. So a lot of people also say, why would they make the N N1 when literally there's already a single board computer doing that? So that probably is another reason why they canceled the N1 was that they had heavy competition already in the market. So jumping to the N2 was a smarter business decision. So anyways, that's the story. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Grab an Odroid, they're awesome. The XU4 is a really nice uh, board. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out some videos on the Odroid. It plays Nintendo 64 and some really, really great uh, emulation. I'm really excited that the ORA group is planning on doing a version two of their image, so get ready for that.